And welcome to another video. Kids and Mavis 245, they're just reviewing the game, which is just for Italy, Italy 2, Belgium 0. So, yeah. So, Italy absolutely fantastic in this game. Defended really well. Belgium, very, very individual. So individual. Not not great as a team, in my opinion. Just too slow as well. Like, they played the same as Man United did last year. Just slow, methodical. So, yeah. So, my goal, I had a shot, which was saved by... Buffon, he was sitting by Fellaini, but Buffon saved it. He had another shot which went wide, Fellaini again being the assist. Italy then had a penalty shout. Uh, Damian, Simon, Simon, the right back. Like he might have fouled Damian, but the referee didn't give it. But then Italy scored, so. Well, it was Jack Carini who's played for Sunderland, who's released by Sunderland, funny enough, but he scored. Benucci was absolutely fantastic throughout the game defensively, played an absolutely sublime boy on the top of the Belgian defence. Jack Carini brought it down and fired it past Courtois into the left hand corner, and it's still 1 0 up. Yeah, Kandre had a shot which Courtois saved. And yeah, um, that was it really, the first half. To be honest, I mean, anything old stuff, any other instance, there might have other half chances really. Pella had a header which went wide, that was really unlucky, that was really, really unlucky. Wits had an effort which went wide from the edge of the box. And yeah, it was, that was really it the first half, and it's he went in one the up. And the car, who had a fantastic chance, second half. Played him by De Bruyne, one-on-one -on -one with Buffon, but the Kaku fluffed his lines, he went wide after he was basically through and he missed it. He's really, really unlucky, he should have scored. Pella then headed, had a shot, which, or a header, sorry, which I think it was Cam Draver again. He was fantastic in this game as well. He chipped it in and Pella headed it towards Gold Court. I had a really, really good save, tipped it away. Hazard had left outside the box, which was saved comfortably by Buffon. Origi had a chance when it was headed over. He headed it over from across from De Bruyne. That was really that was unlucky. He should have scored really. Um, Immobile then had a great chance. He came on. The Borussia Dortmund striker came on. Beat for Tongan. For Tongan made a mistake and Abulier or Imbulier, whatever his name is. I can't pronounce his name properly, but he had a great chance. But Courtois tipped it away. But then in the last minute, Pella scored. Candreva picked it up, chipped into the box, and Pella volleyed it into the corner of the net, beating Courtois, and Italy won the game 2 0. But Italy deserved to win. Fantastic performance by the Italians. As I said, I thought the best player on the picture was Benucci. I thought he was absolutely fantastic defensively. Stop bullying Lukaku. Lukaku was awful for Belgium. Him and Kirillini were just absolutely tremendous. And Italy deserved to win. Belgium, very slow, very, very methodical. I mean, they dominated possession at times. But they just moved the ball too slowly. They didn't work well as a team. I thought all, their poor, all of the good players, like De Bruyne, was, had a quiet game. He wasn't very good. I thought Hazard was awful. Mertens came on. He made a little bit of a difference, but it was too late by that point, really. Italy deserved to win. And that will give Ireland a lot of confidence going into the game against Belgium, because Belgium are the favourites to win this section. But they've been beaten by Italy, or I think will win this section. I think Italy are the best team in that group. I think they'll beat Sweden and qualify. So, so yeah. So, I'm recording this tonight, this video tonight. I've already recorded the games that took place earlier between Spain and Czech Republic and Republic of Ireland and Sweden. I've already uploaded those videos, so I won't upload that tonight because I only upload two videos a day. I'll upload this tomorrow morning and then I'll do my reaction to the two games at the Euros tomorrow which are Austria versus Hungary which is a five o'clock kickoff and Portugal versus Iceland so thanks for listening people take care and I'll see you all very soon peace